And your name? Single and available. Single and available? Single and available? That's me. That's me. I'm single and available. I'm single and available if anybody wants to know. You can stop me if you want. Oh, thank you. I was I was trying to Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go now. Okay, I'm single and available though. Okay, transphobe. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but isn't your PFP one of the Columbine shooters? Yes, and and it's one of the Columbine shooters. That, that's the issue here. You're over here calling people transphobic for whatever reason when you're over here glorifying spree killers. If there had to be one text thread that could explain the entirety of TikTok, it would be this one. A single man over 30 is a big red flag, especially with no kids. What could this possibly mean? Most people start families in their late 20s and early 30s. This seems oddly personal, like a guy that you got with in the past didn't have kids and happened to be 30, did something to you, and now you have a vendetta against that specific cast of society. Just snapped a pic of myself to remind fat phobes we are armed and dangerous, and that the people of size can be- <laughs> Oh my god, this dude's really holding a rifle and wearing thigh-high socks and thinks that he's intimidating. That goes for any person who goes out of their way to post themselves holding a gun menacingly. Like, they're gonna shoot me through the internet. Dude, I still can't believe I once catfished my sister and got her to send me nudes and had jacked off to them. I was a mess two years ago. Jesus. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? A mess? You were a mess. Oh, it was just honest, wholesome hijinks, right? It was a mistake. You were just so crazy. You were such a crackhead two years ago. I swear, people will admit anything on Twitter. I've seen people admit to legit shit crimes on Twitter. And on the other side of that, you have just heinous activities being shared and confessed onto Twitter for thousands of people to read. I have a date with a guy this weekend, and he asked me what my budget was so he could pick a nice restaurant for us. Budget? Am... Am I paying for my meal? Yes, because it's a first date. It's actually pretty smart to split the bill on the first date because there's no guarantee that it's going to be a second one. Especially if you guys don't have a previous relationship where it's like kind of a friendship or if you were talking and the guy is comfortable in paying for your meal. No, if this is just a cold first date, I am splitting the bill because I'm not going to pay for a stranger's meal just for them to not talk to me again. Just the level of entitlement in this entire tweet is ridiculous. Oh, I'm just awesome so I should be paid for it. No! You're talking to another stranger. There's an expectation that you guys can have a really nice time. Just split the bill. What's wrong with that? You're not a princess. You're a normal bitch on Twitter. This next clip is of a kid pretending that he has dissociative identity disorder. Oh yeah, and his entire TikTok is like this. Hi, this is Spencer, and if you guys are wondering what we sound like, I'm gonna show you. Hi, this is Bronx. This is what I sound like. What's up? I'm 16, and I am bisexual. Hello, my name is Rex, I'm seven, and I'm pansexual. Hi, I'm Max. I'm nine. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ace. What's up? I'm 17. Oh no, you look grown grown. You just can't wear this stuff outside, man. You gotta know better. This dude looks greasy. He looks like he doesn't leave his house, which is probably true, because who the fuck with any sort of social sense would wear this outside? Grown men, why are you still playing video games? Word, I can ask you a similar question. Grown women, why are you still letting the moon and the stars tell you how to think? I've probably had 900 raw dicks in me this year, and I've only gotten tested once, and that was a month ago. With a quick calculation, that is three dicks a day. Now the bigger question is, is it all from different men? Is she fucking three different people a day? Or is it three times a fucking with the same guy a few times? Who knows? Who knows? All I'm certain is that she's HIV positive. Yo, look, they're recording this. Hit their phone, Yo. hit their phone, hit their phone. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> This hardly is a hot take, but pedophilia is pedophilia. If it looks like a child and you're attracted to it, you're a pedo. I hope all of you guys agree with- Oh, you don't. Negative 75 downvotes. Why the fuck am I on this website? So hard makes me say, oh my lord, thank you for blessing me. What am I, I know what I just watched, and is anyone else 
thinking about what he can do to you in the red room with handcuffs and paddles and clamps. Oh my, my mind might go to the dark side. I bet you he could do damage. And honestly, I'd probably ask for it. All right, so this just happened. Uh, I saw a post from a friend that says leg day is the best day. I replied, what legs? And this is what I got back. Really? That's funny because I won't. The powerlifting squad competition two years in a row. The second 24-year-old to ever squat over 500. So I'm not really sure what you're meaning. My legs are 18 inches around. I think you're a blind fucking idiot. I was making a camo joke. <laughs> The Taliban has captured waifu pillows left behind by American soldiers. Oh god. I... I this can't be real. No. This has to be a joke. I... For, for my brain to even relatively function, I have to assume and delude myself into thinking that this is real. No way are soldiers allowed to bring stuff like that to a base or to anywhere where they're staying long term. If you are a soldier or veteran and you have some information about whether or not this is true, please let us know in the comments down below. For the sake of my goddamn sanity, I'm going to assume that this is a joke. And, it, it, and it's funny, it's absolutely ridiculous, I love it. But please don't let this be real. This next clip is of Keemstar absolutely torpedoing the vibe in a room full of friends. FaceTime, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, shit. So now he's fuck? fucking famous somehow and I'm famous. Yo, you're in trouble. Why? Oh shit. That crypto shit. <laughs> hey, Steve, get his ass from right now. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, how, how we doing, though? Real good. You good? I just did a podcast with Tana Mojo. It was so raw, so real. Hey. I got the... Hey, Mr. Yo, Gemini. Jesus, bro, you scared the... F I think you should box. Here's why. You have natural energy. They see it in the stream, right? You need that. Like, you have natural energy. You got what some you cold what? energy about you. <laughs> like, bro. like some cold, like fucking no emotions, like killer energy about you. I'm 39, she's 20, so he came at me like, call me a creep or whatever. And he was like saying that I had like a little dick, my dick didn't work as shit. And he got in trouble with YouTube. Damn. So he was on the fence. You see, yeah. what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's even worse is every twice that dude. <laughs> Yo, he legitimately went on his show. This motherfucker went on his show, he said it was on antidepressants. And the side effects were that he didn't have feeling in his dick. Such Projection. Today, I'm going to show you the world's fakest conversation from Daniel. Have we ever fucked me? Girl, put his phone down. Are you shitting me? Dude, who are you fooling? We all know that no girls are talking to you. Get off your friend's phone. people are the kindest, the saddest people are the strongest, the most damaged people are the wisest. Damn, I feel my IQ growing as I stare at this meme. As I stare at this post, I can do all the math. I, I think I could do one plus one. If men are agreeing with you, you said something stupid. Bruh, you are absolutely right. What's up? Did you know that our peoples dilate when we're looking at something we love? Oh. Mm -hmm. Love a woman. 
I told a man he needed therapy last night. I went on a second date last night. There were no red flags on the first date, and we actually had a good time most of the date too, until unprompted he mentioned that he likes to take things emotionally slow because he went through a traumatic relationship three years ago. Let me tell you how his jaw dropped when I said, and you don't seek therapy or do something to work on that? Instead, you're here on a second date telling me all the ways you'll compare me to an ex who traumatized you? You shouldn't be dating at all. I cut the date short. He tried to walk me to my car, but I insisted on going myself, and then he texted me before asking me to verify when I made it home before I blocked him. Oh, wow, you're just amazing. You're a fucking gold star. After someone opens up to you about their previous trauma in a different relationship and, and explain to you how they want to take things slow and one step at a time, you cut the date short and block him. That's what you did after throwing his problems in his face and saying he should just get help and should just completely exit the dating pool. Let's do some preschooler shit. How would you feel if he said that about you? Would you feel bad? Would you feel bad inside? Is there any fucking empathy? I, he really dodged a bullet. You're an awful person. Now we've all seen this clip, but there's a lot of people who haven't, so I'll explain it to you. This next clip you're about to watch is of a grown man complaining and crying in his car because he quit his job that was paying him $100,000 a year and when he went to go meet Logan Paul, Logan Paul refused to give him a job. So now he's just upset in his car because he literally made himself unemployed for no reason. I just talked to Logan Paul. I mean, like he was just being nice and I get it, media, whatever, he has to be nice. Before I approached him, he was bragging about making $3 million. I make $100,000 a year. I'm 22. I do make 100000 That's cool. And I want to... I want to act. I want to... I want to do these things. Did you sneak in today? No, I... No, I didn't. I'm, I quit my job. No. Wait, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I, it's a story. I'm interested. It's a story. I quit my job legit two days ago. I came up here, took a risk. I'm originally from Ohio. Did you sneak up here? No, I didn't sneak in here. I, I didn't sneak. What do you mean sneak up? Like here? on on stage? Are you just like? Yes, I did. You're one of, it's I one did. of the sneak I the am, sneak I'm videos. Sorry, I, I just, did you print the ticket and stuff? No, like, I just needed to talk to you. I, really, I'm trying to talk, talk to your about? brother. I'm trying to talk about business. Trying to talk about trying to get a job. What like you, I want to. I want to do media. I want to. I've been you, trying to. Get, what have, are you good at? I was seven dances. I did like What's that. Your I, did, I, I did that video, you know, like going oh, you, like that. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you know. Oh, so you really got what it takes. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Then why would I, I, I need a mentor? Well, why mentor. would I do that? I want to be. I want to be like. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I'm just trying. I bet. I can't be a mentor right now, right? In my life, I'm a fuck up myself. I need a mentor. You know what I'm saying? Like I need you connections work and you need you. people to be no, around you. No, I didn't have connections and people around. I have Jake. That's it. Do you have a brother? Do you have people? You, friends? I don't. I don't. Friends? You got to. You got friends. You got to. I don't. You don't have friends? I don't. I swear to God. I'm here by myself. I'm here by bro, myself. Where are you from? I'm from Norwalk, Ohio. Bro, you're a good looking guy, bro. You have friends, bro. You're fucking lying. You have friends. <laughs> go, go make content. Do stuff with your friends. I'm glad you quit your job. It takes balls to do that, bro. But like now you got to act. Try to make a step. I'm not, media. But I'm not the guy directly, you're right? The, you're, def you're the guy. No, you're the bro, guy. No, bro. My team is this. We're locked, bro. We're locked. I'm, I'm not the guy. Like, I, you know, life isn't about handouts. You know what I'm saying? I know. I'm you not trying to get a handout. I'm not trying to get what a handout. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to work hard I, for a little money. No money. I don't know. I can get a job somewhere else. All I want to move to L.A. And I want to I want to be able to be part of that. Look, I have to go. If you really are serious about it, bro, you should move to LA and just like you approach me, start making connections with every single person in LA. I'm serious. That's I will. it. I've always said this. If you have, if you're charismatic and you can talk to someone, you can make it in LA. Yes, sir. That's my advice. Right. Literally nobody. 12-year-old relationships. Hey, we need to talk. Okay. So, I heard you went to the park with Natalie. Why would you cheat on me, Joey? I gave you two chances, and I actually believed you when you said you loved me, but I guess not. I'm sorry, I was just hanging out with her. Whatever, just don't talk to me in middle school. I only even love you. Sounds good to me, and well, you were the one who bought my Starbucks drink, so you obviously love me a little bit. Screw you, Joey. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, what was that? Oh yeah, the elevator, because you're not on my level. <laughs> You're not on my level. I won this fight, and we're for real. <laughs> Anita! 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 If you ever wanted a sign, 
that the world is fucking batshit crazy. Take a good look at these tweets at people attempting to cancel Crayola for using the Spanish translation of black because they think it's offensive. Oh my god, I'm absolutely stunned at Crayola. This is disgusting and unacceptable. Please let these people be children. I need them to be like sub 14 years old. That's the only way this actually kind of makes sense. Because if otherwise, if you are a grown man, grown woman, and you're tweeting at Crayola that you're offended that this is on a pencil, it's obvious that you're operating with one brain cell at a time, and it should be mandated that somebody slightly smarter than you should help you out when you drink water because God knows you can't do it by yourself. In common law, the age of signaling adulthood is presumed to be 14 in boys and 12 in girls. Tom, what is the age of consent? I yeah, I would make that face too. What the fuck? Cola! Potato chips. Potato chips. Cola! Potato chips. Pudding. <laughs> Do you ever get secondhand happiness? Like someone is happy, so you're happy because they're happy? Twitter user discovers empathy. Secondhand happiness? What? I swear, I think people really go out of their way to emphasize very plain things about themselves in order to gain some sort of social standing. Their lives are so plain and so basic that they need to emphasize the fact that they have empathy in order to feel like they have value. And they get mad at you if you point out the fact that it's just empathy by saying that you're not validating them. These people are insufferable, and the only way to cure their insufferability is by punching them in the face. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know that's a, a weird compliment. I hope you don't mind. No, it's okay. You're lucky to have feet so pretty. A lot of girls don't. Thank you. I appreciate it. A lot of girls have no business wearing sandals. <laughs> but you should wear them all the time. Thank you. So that was pretty cute. Thank you. You're Confirmed, men who objectify women are effing terrible. And while you're reading this article, check out 36 Summer Olympic Bulges That Deserve Gold. Sometimes I really think to myself, damn, the world is okay. And then the internet catches a smell of my optimism and swiftly kicks me in the face with the boot of reality. That's what this picture tells. That's the story that this picture tells. Cause goddamn, someone really went out of their way to spend an extra couple hundred dollars on a vanity plate, got a wheel cover and some balls in a lot of ways i'm shocked at the fact that they just don't care but i'm also disappointed in the fact that this entire situation would have been avoided if this guy or girl was bullied just a touch more in high school <laughs> hello mommy kitten is hungry mommy i hungry <laughs> I once dated a guy for a month, then after breaking up with him, he changed his steam bile to this. At least 2D girls don't break your heart. Hey, hey, I made a thing, a pride flag for lesbians who don't like women. So straight, they said lesbian, stop being disrespectful. Damn, this math ain't mathin. How the fuck are you a lesbian, but you don't like pussy? That doesn't make any sense. It's just not coming together for me, so I'm gonna have to appeal to the alphabet soup people in the comments. Please let me know if this is something that y'all agreed on. Is this the new move? Or is this, is this a situation? Because learning about semi-bisexuals was already enough for me. And this is blowing my mind. I thought that was insane. She gon' for it. She gon' poop. She gon' scoop. She gon' I was a kid pulling triggers. Shorty had me down with my feelings. Hey, uh, kitty litter on the ground, sweep it up. No, stop. Please don't make a US version of this wonderful film. Don't do it. Don't. Nobody wants it. Matter of fact, I'm certain that while all of you guys are looking at this post right now, you're feeling exactly the same. If you've ever seen this film, you know that a US version of it would be dog shit. Hello? 
Oh, oh my god, hi Maya. Thank you, thank you for letting me be the person who, uh, can I ask you a question <laughs> first? Here, you're, Sorry. you're my animal princess. Please don't laugh at me. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How how are you? Uh, I'm well. Can I ask you the question, please? Yeah, you have a question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, what does your breath smell like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I moved him out. Okay, guys, that's a start. That's a great, that's a good start. Okay, it's a good first start. It's fine. It's did you know melanin is a super absorber of all forms of energy? It has black hole properties. It absorbs toxins. It can convert light to sound and back again. It stores, transforms, and conducts energy. It allows the growth of human beings towards spiritual consciousness and inner vision. Oh my god, this is a Hotep's wet dream. This is just fan fiction and the Hoteps eat this stuff up 100%. And if you're curious what a Hotep is and what their beliefs are concerning the origins of black people, the ridiculous controversy that white people are stealing black people's melanin, please watch Mr. Medicare's video on Hoteps and you will just giggle the entire fucking time. Happy National Girlfriend Day! Photo creds to me, her number one fan. Dude, girlfriend? <laughs> you forgot the space there, buddy. Thanks for being my best friend, though. I would be upset for this dude, I would sympathize, but he knew what he was doing. It's obvious that they aren't dating, he just wanted to believe his fantasy for a little bit. What's up everyone, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. We're doing another big panda bomb. I'm dropping a ton of content on you this week. 14 videos in total, so I hope you're ready now. I hope you're gonna enjoy all of it. Uh, I really like doing this. I like putting all the content at the end of the month, give you guys something really easy to binge and watch. So yeah, if you guys like this type of upload schedule, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Viva LaRue, witty username, I didn't bot my views true, Julian Pullman, Benny's Big Bean Burrito, Danny Wanny has a big fanny, Spunky Funky Monkey Chunky Chunky, Tinky Winky Nobby Wobby, Oopanoot, Nicked, Cameron, D4C, My Name to Knee, Kiri the Sloth, Lady Laughs a Lot, Mina the Swift, Esau, Izuku, Destroyer, Trey, Muffy Lou Who, Noah, Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine Taylor, Hannah, and Will Billy. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.